this video I just want to show you another way of making a PCA plot and working with the platform. So again what we did is we processed the data here under transcriptomics RNA-seq. We got the table of expression. We maybe did a normalized uh, quantile no normalization under utilities. And now what we can do is go under unsupervised analysis. And what you will see here is that you have these two options, PCA and PCA draw. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some files. What I'll do is I will take some files that I have. You might have different files. So let's go ahead and take, um, okay, let's do unsupervised. Uh, okay, so we have these genes right here. Okay, let's just take a look that we've got the right table. So we've got some samples here. and We've got a bunch of gene IDs. So let's just take this. All right, now we've got um, continue, start. We'll choose PCA draw. Now, if you remember in the previous exercise, what we did with PCA is we generated the full PC table. We had a bunch of different PCs, and we selected only two. So we can do three, or we can just even change it to two. Uh, we don't want to scale, center, transpose, yes. Let's go further, do end. Okay, and I will just do Elia PCA. Okay, run pipeline. And now that the pipeline is running, let me just tell you a little bit of what we're doing. So if you remember, we went in the previous example, we went under utilities, and we selected this PCA right here. Now this PCA does exactly the same thing, and the only thing that the other pipeline actually does is adds another option to do an R script, to run an R script and generate the scatter plot within the pipeline. Okay, so let's go under my pipelines. You can see that this is processing. Now remember that if you have something like this that says prepared, that means that you have not started the pipeline. You did not press on run pipeline. I didn't do it because I was demonstrating it, so um, I didn't really want to waste the resources and run the pipeline. Uh, but sometimes you will have this option to run pipeline here. You can see that it's already processing. That means it's working. All right, so how do we get the results? Let's give it another minute. All right, and now you can see that it is done. Let's go to output files. And the first thing that we want to look at is this file right here, PCA plots. Okay, and now look at what we have here. We have all of these different groups that we can already visually see because all of these are sample names and they're colored differently and so we just see them colored by a sample name because we of course didn't have a label and so what you can see here is just each dot represents a sample and this PCA plot helps us visually see that there may be three groups in this data set okay now let's do this Let's go back to areas of analysis, unsupervised analysis. We will upload a different file marked. And now you can see that for each one of these samples, we also have an annotation, what group they belong to. Let's do this. Let's open the file. And then it will upload. Press continue. Start. OK. PCA draw. OK. Yes, and save. Now I will do Elia PCA annotated annotated run pipeline. So what I want to see now is how the annotation will come up on the plot. And now you can see again it started. So let me go back to my pipelines. Let me open this. All right, let's just give it a moment. Okay, so now you can see that my pipeline has finished. Let's go to download output files, and now let's go to PCA plots. Okay, now let's see what we have. Oh, okay, well now we have the colors based on the different groups. So what is interesting here? What's interesting here is that we have, uh, this is going to be the, the luminal. This is going to be our basal. This is going to be normal-like, and this is going to be cloud and low. 
Okay, so now you have this very clear separation between groups. And now what you can also see is I didn't change it from two to three, so I kept it uh, one, two, and three. So we have two combinations, PC2 and PC1, and PC3 and PC1, and the third combination, P PC3 and PC2. So those are the different options that we have. Uh, now, not only that, what you can also see here is you get the actual text file so the same table that you saw before. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so now if we open this file in Excel, again, we will see the different PCs. And you will get an R pack. What's in the R pack? Okay, in the R pack, you actually have the full script. Now we can modify the script in R and get it to do whatever you want. So you can add labels and you can add all kinds of other information that we don't have. And this is something that we're going to cover in a different video. All right, thanks a lot.